welcome, welcome, welcome. Me and my hit Ray Bans gonna take you for a ride in my whip. Spend some money, show you what it's like living here. Welcome to Dubai, baby. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm kidding guys. I don't even know whose car that is and these glasses are like two dollars. Sorry guys, I had to do an intro like that. It's Dubai, that's what you were expecting. But how beautiful was that car? Now that the intro is out of the way, let's get to the content of this video. My name is Henry James Beck. I'm a South African born person and I live here in Dubai. I thought I could show you guys around Jumeirah Lakes Towers and kind of what it's like in the day-to-day -day life of someone living here. Now Dubai is really glitzy and glammy and really luxurious. People drive in really expensive sports cars that I can <sighs> take videos of in my parking lot because they're there, <laughs> but never drive. I can't even rent one. So today's objective is to take you through what it's like to live in JLT from an average Joe's perspective. And just kind of show you around what it's like living here, what you can find, and we're gonna try some new places, we're gonna look for new restaurants, and hopefully you guys will have a good time and find something to enjoy and come visit me here because I have like one friend She's behind the camera. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> So we'll start ourselves here at what is known as Almas West Lake. This is incidentally the lake that I live in and I won't tell you exactly which building because I know I'll get stalkers. So we're going to go and see if we can get ourselves some nice coffee to start the day. Is, there are a few things that I'm not a big fan of. Um, one of the things that I feel are probably just a design flaw, they didn't think of this when they were planning our JLT, is you've got these really large, impressive lakes, but there are a few things that they didn't factor. For example, in the corners of the lake, because it's not natural, there's not flowing, there's not life in the water, you have a lot of I call them dead zones. You've got these dead zones in a corner where there's lots of buildup of algae and gunk and all kinds of nasty stuff. The smell standing here is quite terrible. So I hope you guys appreciate my sacrifice to give you some entertainment. In, in particular, in this area here, there's quite a lot of mosquitoes. This is just a breeding ground for them. Just perfect for mosquito orgies down there. You can take a look. I don't know how well this is going to come out, but they're there. They're there in the billions. So here we are at the end of West Amas Lake. We have unfortunately not found coffee. I won't lie, I don't like this lake very much. It's probably my least favorite of all the JLT lakes in the park. Uh, so I don't come here all that often. I don't really know what's around here. And Apparently not much. That's why I don't like it. So we're gonna head back to East Elmas Lake, find ourselves some coffee. I 
undoubtedly one of my favorite things about Dubai in general is how much effort they put into the aesthetic of things. Like this restaurant, this French bistro restaurant. I haven't actually checked this place out, but based purely on the aesthetic, it's a place I'd really like to go. Uh, unfortunately, time constraints can't do it now, but I'll come back. So behind me is cluster B, and in it is a tower that hasn't been completed since before the 2008 financial crisis. There are actually quite a few of these towers dotted around JLT that have not been completed and honestly I don't think they'll be completed anytime soon because there's not even construction happening right now. It's kind of ugly, it's kind of an eyesore, it's kind of a reminder of how stupid human beings can be. So, yeah. I can't believe it, but in West Almas Lake, we actually found a place that we haven't ever seen before. I've never seen this place, and we're gonna try it. It's like 9.50 in the morning and already 35 degrees, so <laughs> we're gonna go for an iced coffee. Let's go check this place out. Decided to go for a nice coffee and they had such delicious looking tasty treats. I had to try some, so I'll let you guys know what it's like. Let's try the blueberry. Macrons. Oh wow. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Mm. We have I've seen this place so many times and I've not once been inside, which is kind of weird because I am a huge gamer. Let's go check this place out. Uh, do you mind if we walk around? Yeah, sure. Is it, is it All the games here, which one do you think would be my personal favorite? It's PUBG. It's PUBG. My all time favorite multiplayer game of all time, though, StarCraft 2. And I will die saying that. I think it's super cool that you can still just walk around JLT and find things like this. Like, this is a lot more than I was expecting. You know, I've seen this place on the outside many times and this is a lot more than I was expecting. So unfortunately, there's not really a place for us to sit and have a conventional meal, but it was really cool to check this place out. I think I will definitely be back here with a couple of my friends to have a game or two, whether it's foosball or Dota 2. So remember when I was talking about how much effort Dubai puts into making an aesthetically pleasing dining experience? Come on. You're on a boat in Venice. Dubai, don't ever stop being amazing. Behind us is Dubai Metro, and Dubai Metro runs pretty much uh, entirely above ground. There are very small sections that run beneath the ground, but as you can see, it's nice and grand, it's exotic, and it's slower than most cars. Behind JLT Metro is Dubai Marina, and we'll show you guys that in another video. So this place behind me becomes really nice at night. It's kind of the happening spot in JLT if you had to ask me. There's so many people around here, it's really vibey, really cool. I think I'll give you a quick sneak peek of that. And we're here. What do you think?
Nice and vibey, right? Okay, we've arrived at Almas East Lake. Personally, I consider this to kind of be the center of JLT because this is where it feels like most of the stuff happens. It feels the busiest lake, it feels like there's always people here. Most of the buildings and the residential units here are full. So what is JLT? JLT, Jumeirah Lakes Towers, is a commercial slash residential complex area. As you can see, there's lots of towers everywhere. These towers are a mixture of office buildings and residential units. You've got pharmacies, you've got cafes and restaurants, you've got laundromats and clothes shops. In terms of what you need, you've got pretty much everything. A short walk from your apartment. It's a really comfortable place to live. You've also got gyms and parks, you've got uh, extracurricular activities like uh, escape rooms, you've got culinary schools and there's even some university, two universities here. Right behind me is Almas Tower. It is the largest tower in JLT at 66 stories high. It is where DMCC basically runs JLT from. DMCC stands for Dubai Multi Commodity Center Amazing Centrum. Good stuff. DMCC is considered the number one free zone in the entire world. And I can see why. They've done a good job. People love it here. That water looks super inviting. But these lakes are actually died to look like this if you couldn't guess. You don't get this kind of deep blue with two meters of water. It's like 38 degrees. It's really, really hot out here. My camera keeps turning off saying it's overheating, so I think I'm gonna get this guy inside, let him rest a little bit and recharge the batteries. We'll come out a little bit later. It is an oppressive heat out there, so we're just gonna just chill out for a little while and we'll get back out there just now. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna call it a wrap for this video. I think it's gonna be pretty long already, so I'm gonna cut it here and I'm going to create the rest of this day into a second video, which uh, I'll link it down below so you can find it super easily and watch it because I need the support. You're like my only viewer, so please. I'd also like to say, please leave some comments and suggestions. Just please don't call me like fat and ugly and, and stupid because I'm kind of insecure and it'll hurt my feelings. Please don't do it. I, I'm pretty excited about this channel. I, I really enjoy doing this, creating content that hopefully people will enjoy. It's early days, maybe everyone will hate me and I'll become like a washout and I'll turn to drugs to deal with my absolute abject failure. But it's early days, so I'm still hopeful and hopefully that doesn't happen, yay. Anyway guys, I really, really hope that you enjoyed the video. I really do, it's a passion project. It's something that I was hoping people would look at and go like, ooh, ah. <laughs> so please check out the next video and join Beck again in the backstreet.